we are down at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and I'm excited because we haven't had a product in a little while for you guys. You know, we used to do releases practically every week, but officially, Warrior Bar is now Best Bar. And, you know, back when we named it Warrior Bar, you know, we didn't know that like half a dozen other companies had the Warrior Bar. And when we named it Best Bar, it made a lot of sense because whether it's an energy bar, a protein bar, a survival meal replacement, this bar is the best for whatever you are trying to do. The quality of the ingredients, the macronutrient profile, protein, carbohydrates, fat, it's very calorically dense, and more importantly, it is truly delicious. The taste and texture of this blows all the other bars out of the water and I've been trying these other bars for the past few weeks and really doesn't match up, especially considering we're at the same price point. So this is our current packaging. All of the bars are made and packaged by hand. Uh, we have three flavors initially, vanilla, berry, and chocolate. Uh, the base of all of these bars is grass-fed beef tallow, grass-fed whey protein, raw honey. We put a bit of salt in there and vanilla bean powder is in all of these bars. Super duper high quality, really expensive stuff, tastes delicious. Uh, so the vanilla has a little bit more vanilla bean than the other two, but there's a little bit of vanilla in both the chocolate and the berry, just to add a little complexity, a little more flavor. Uh, the berry has acerola cherry powder for some vitamin C, and it has a blend of blueberry, strawberry, and raspberry. And the chocolate just has raw cacao powder as the base. So uh, whether you want some vitamin C, a little bit more energy from the caffeine and the chocolate as well as some magnesium and copper or just our, our classic vanilla flavor. We have three options to start. These are gonna be available on Frankie's Free Range Foods at around $2 each. So how does the uh, new bar compare, especially, what do you have, the old one right in front of you? <laughs> These are the last, what do we got, six bars? Yeah, just show them, they can't see it. These are the last six Warrior Bar. Coconut, banana, macadamia nut oh, flavor. Yeah, wow, these are going out to people. So. Those are eight ounces, uh, packed a lot larger. Eight ounce, the packing is, packaging is pretty ugly. I mean, it is nice, it is vacuum sealed, but um, it's a lot of plastic. And then uh, these are made by hand in super small batches. So now with, with the best bar, the texture is better, the flavor is better, it's much more consistent. They're two ounces instead of eight. If you eat this, it's all, basically all your calories for the day. Yeah, so, it's a lot of calories. Yeah, almost no one's, I mean, this is good for survival situations, but um, now you can get four of these if, if you do want it for a full full day's calories, but um, it's just so much more convenient. What's your favorite flavor, the vanilla berry chocolate? I like, I like the berry. I, this is a sleeper. I like the berry a lot, too. I thought... Uh, the berry's really good. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out, but... Vanilla's classic, chocolate's chocolate, but I've never had a berry bar. Like, it's so good. Using freeze-dried berries, as opposed to flavor additives, it's really good. Now, the thing that makes the bar better in texture than most others is because basically there's no fiber or grains in it. It's like pure energy almost. Exactly. When we look at the other bars that are comparable, um, they usually have uh, like 10, sometimes more grams of fiber. Uh, there's no, I mean, there is a very small amount of fiber in the berry bar and the, and the chocolate, but the vanilla, it's all just pure calorie. Um, this is what you want out of an energy bar. High quality ingredients, your, bo your body's utilizing everything in it. So the price per ounce is even better than what you're seeing on the label because there's no filler in these. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot. So that's basically 320 calories for around two bucks. You know, the protein bars from the other companies, energy bars, meal replacement, whatever, probably gonna be about half of that. Maybe around 200. Yeah, so these are 320. We can check right now, right? I think. Yeah, so you're getting high quality ingredients. You're getting a better price. It tastes better. Yeah, I mean, I've been feeding these to my kids. You said um, they would rather eat those than pretty much food. Yeah, they'll, they'll just eat these if I let them. I mean, they're basically like candy bars. They taste like candy bars, but the ingredients are super clean, the highest quality we could get. So I have no problem with them eating this um, as a snack, as like a lunch. Um, and then 
breakfast and dinner, you just catch them back up on regular foods. 200. So it's 200. So we're Chocolate actually... Chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, we're closer to double the amount of calories than... Cookie and cream anything. bar is 200 calories. There's 60 grams. Uh, ours are le a little bit less than that because it's, it's not an even gram. It's, uh, they're two ounces. Mm -hmm. So it's, not, it's a little less, but it's still 110, 120 calories more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... it's <laughs> yeah, so, so we should actually increase the price. <clears throat> <laughs> it's 150 percent of the calories and it's not 150% percent of the price no. yeah there's 15 grams of fiber in a quest bar that's why it's so low we could talk shit about quest bar on Saturday or something we don't have to do it now <laughs> so, so the reason we've been able to do this is why did you why did you think of getting this extruder it was just too much to do by hand and I, I, I thought that this bar really had long-term potential yeah Yeah. I think I showed you guys this last week. It's uh, an extruder. Maybe we could show it in action one day. This was about $6,500 from China. Uh, but if you were to try to buy a machine like this in the United States, it'd probably cost you 30, 40, 50, 60, who knows how many dozens of thousands of dollars. So it's definitely a worthwhile investment for now, but we do have to sell quite a few bars to, uh, <laughs> to pay for it. And these are all super natural. No flavor additives, no coloring additives. So the colors of the bars are basically the natural ingredient colors. That's why, you know, the chocolate's obviously pretty brown and dark. And the vanilla and the berry are actually pretty similar in color. Exactly, there's no fruit coloring. It's just the freeze-dried organic powders. This, I mean, this is only five ingredients. It's, it's tallow, whey, honey, salt, and vanilla. Yeah, maybe if you guys buy some bars, we can afford to uh, get an electrician to look at this light because it goes out every 30 seconds. Now these bars are really, really delicious. They're not quite like dessert or candy yet, but if we put a little bit more honey in them, they probably would be, right? Right, we, it's, they taste delicious. Kids will eat them. They uh, are enjoyable, but they're not quite like as sweet as a candy bar. Yeah, maybe we could do a, maybe we could do a Twix bar sometime in the future, but yeah, not yet. Yeah, maybe we should do one that's like really, like almost like a dessert. It's kind of cool. Yeah, we're gonna fill some orders for Frankie's Free Range Foods. This is gonna be uh, the last round of orders uh, with just the Nature's Glucose, the whey protein, and uh, some of the tallows and the fats. So you can definitely go to frankiesfreerangefoods.com and we'll get these bars out for you guys this week. So I'm gonna fill orders for maybe 20, 30 minutes. I should be able to bang them all out. And then we'll talk about kind of the intermittent future, next three, four, five, six months, what we're looking to do. And there's definitely some you know, exciting stuff that we've been waiting basically since we started to, uh, to really get going. So we have added quite a few products to Frankie's Free Range Foods, one of them being the pure raw cod liver oil. And this actually lasts two, three, four months on the counter. So, you know, we ship this non-perishable, it arrives perfectly. And the reason other companies need to add preservatives and it doesn't last that long is because, you know, by the time they even sell it, it's already been sitting around four, five, six months. But since we make this fresh and we keep it uh, cold, it lasts a very long time. Of course, we have the grass-fed whey protein. Uh, we're getting rid of the last of the black bags and we have uh, the new gray bags. The main product we initially started with, Nature's Glucose. We have this in three different sizes still. 75% glucose, much less stress on the liver than regular honey or any sugar. And then we have the fats available now on Frankie's Free Range Foods, the pork lard, the beef tallow, the wagyu tallow, and the lamb tallow. So we got most of the foods orders out today. We actually have a few orders left. Uh, since we make the tallow fresh, sometimes we don't have enough of it on hand. So we're gonna make some more tonight and we'll have it for tomorrow. So we've achieved a lot of the goals we've wanted to with Frankie's Free Range Meat. And the next big step for us is going to be controlling more of the processing chain. So right now we're basically you know, cutting up animals, cutting up meat. If we were to have and own like a USDA registered slaughtering facility, what we can do is actually have farmers raise animals for us with certain feed requirements. Right now, what we're stuck doing is basically finding meat that fits the feed requirements and you know, paying too much for it, not getting all the cuts we want. If we have that slaughtering facility ourselves, you know, we get to control hay 
this farmer raises this animal with this quality feed and we can slaughter it whenever because we have you know that facility that controls that aspect of production you know so we've been looking around at farms farm properties looking at loans you know seeing how much it costs to build a facility uh, but it's definitely more of a long-term thing hopefully you know sometime late next year early 2022 we could potentially have that up and running uh, what we've also been doing is speaking to Amish farmers about producing dairy and eggs for us and we figured that you know the slaughterhouse would make sense to do first and in the meantime we can get someone else to produce the dairy and eggs for us so uh, hopefully within you know maybe three four months we can get some dairy some eggs for you guys possibly quite a wide variety of those products so thank you guys for joining me today i'm kind of excited to see where things go over these next few months and how much more progress we make uh, you know as i've mentioned you guys can check out frankie's strange foods for the best bars uh, you can order the tallow, whey protein, nature's glucose, and you can also go to Frankie's Range Meat if you do want to check out our fresh grass-fed beef, pork, and chicken products. We did the workout routine yesterday. Of course, you guys can check that out, frank .com. Uh But I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, thanks again for joining me today. Uh, let me know what other stuff you guys would like to see. Uh, we're trying to see if we can get out to some of these farms in New York that uh, we're purchasing meat from. Uh, we're trying to get some more interactive stuff but hopefully that comes with uh, the growth of the business. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.